Everybody, it's Perez, joined by Duffy, Hello. and I have to tell you, I think your new album is one of the best of the year. Wow! Wow! Is this wow. wow. Okay. I think Woo. that's a first. But I say that because I really mean it. Thank you. Uh, because I feel like, to me, this is your debut album, almost. Nice. Does that make sense? It does. I feel actually. like you've come into yourself more on this album. Thank you. Have you? Or what, what are your thoughts on this one and how would you say it's different than the last? I had a conversation with my mum last night and she said, I want you to treat your records like your lovers. She said, don't bring your relationship history into your records, right? She said, leave each lover behind. Well, you did break up with your lover, musically speaking. You, you worked with somebody on the first album and you didn't work with them again on the yeah, second one. Okay. So you have new collaborators in yes, the second album. There is that. And so I thinking of it as a another another relationship another chapter you know there were some folks that 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 thought when you first came onto the scene oh this sounds a little too much like amy winehouse and of course there was a movement there was a definite movement from the uk at that particular time and i think it was like a collective consciousness thing um so for me i think yes this is a a, a marking of my personality and my character maybe but it's for others to decide that's what music's all about getting yeah. it out there no bullshit kind of theory I like that. You just said bullshit. I didn't expect that from really? Duffy. Really? Really? You seem so prim and proper. I said bullshit. Oh my gosh. Do I you hope curse? I wasn't watching. I do. What's your favorite curse word? What well, do you know what Tom Jones said about me? What? He said... You're I a hot bitch. Yeah, well, <laughs> nearly, nearly. Um, although we didn't get to that. Um, he said, I look like an angel and I swear like a sailor. You swear a lot? Yeah. Really? What's your favorite curse word? Can't. Cunt, that's a good one. It feels so good when you say it. My favorite... I think it's a tie between... Pig fucker? Yeah. Or cum slut? Oh no! So I think intense. both, they're just so uh, specific and you I get thought, a real image. I thought see you next Tuesday was really extreme, but you've sort of upped it right now. Cum slut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody's talked about it, yada yada yada. You were on an audition type show like American Idol. But we won't talk about that, but we will talk about X Factor. Okay. Because I'm obsessed with the show. Do you watch? Have you watched? Have you been I paying attention? I didn't realize that Wagner had left until yesterday, and I was really upset. You were upset? You were a Wagner fan? Well, Wagner? Yeah, Wagner? Wagner. She got voted off. Oh, no. But I know. See, I'm so not up with it. It's okay. I watch every week. I don't watch any television except X Factor. So who's your fave? Well, I think the one that has the most potential outside of the show is Cher Lloyd. Yeah, the one that raps. Yes. Yeah, do you like the way I did that because she's really small? The one that raps. <laughs> and then I think the one that should win the show is Rebecca Ferguson. Right, the one... The one that's like Leona, kind of. Yeah, yeah, like it, like yeah. it. She, I think she's got the best voice for a singing competition. I think the One Direction might win, the you boy band. You should panel. I've been shamelessly plugging and trying to make that happen. This guy needs to be on the panel, please. <laughs> So what I what I want to know though is like you were on that uh, audition show Welsh Idol when you were really young. Yeah. And then there was a time where you were weren't doing much, right? You no, know, lots of highs and lows. But I must say that that talent show I did, we were kind of sort of wearing. Not that I've got anything against Primark, but we were like wearing like Primark clothes. There was no budget. There was nothing to win. There was only like a small viewership. It really wasn't high class. So why did you audition? Well, actually, they came to my school. Oh! Yeah, they asked me to be on it. I see. I was and you, and you, but you, you came in second, or yeah. you won? Uh, second. Second. Yeah. So you see, was... sometimes not winning is the best thing. No, because I think you get trapped into all sorts of rigmarole. Go exploit the opportunity of being on telly. Uh, you got the new album out. You're gonna tour. Yes. Would you? Do you have any desires to do? You know, I feel like at this day and age, every celebrity has to be a celebrity. Like, are you going to come out with a fragrance? A fragrance, <laughs> a smell, um, a potion. Would you do some acting? I've have you done, done acting? I've done acting. You have? This is done. You yes. did? What on did you an, do? On an indie film. You have? Yeah. It was... I think you should do Doctor Who, too. Oh, wow. Like, video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see you on Doctor Who. Like, okay. a big special. Oh, right. Kylie Minogue did it. It did very well. Really? Okay. She was on the Christmas special. I know my shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the indie movie? Patagonia. And uh, do It's you... in a couple of foreign languages, you know? So... It, it's more cinematic. The cinema is gorgeous. But you have a speaking part in it. Speaking Spanish. But you're speaking in it. You're doing the whole thing in Spanish. Yeah, and Welsh because I'm Welsh, obviously. And did you learn Spanish for the movie, or you knew it already? Yeah, ask me a line in Spanish. Well, we can speak in Spanish. You can speak it. Yes. No. Okay, let me <laughs> test you. Esto es de mi tío. Él es mi tío. Yeah. He's my uncle. 
Celine, I know. Okay, that's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I know about uncles. Why would why why Magna are you Magna este mi tío? <laughs> why are you speaking in Spanish in the movie? Well, Patagonia, there's a bit of history here, right? Yeah. So two hundred years ago, the English people wanted to wipe out the Welsh language. So, like about twenty Welsh men rode out to get a boat to go to the center of America, to Argentina, and they made a little colony to save their language. Oh wow! Patagonia. I did not know this. And then all the women followed, and they got there and realized it was really barren land, and they were promised there was a green land to farm. So the Indians and the Welsh became really good friends. There was like a war going on, so the Indians were going to be wiped out by the Americans, the Welsh were going to be wiped out by the English. So there was like this amazing marriage. So we kind of made this sort of modern film about two different relationships going to different places. This is enlightening. Yeah. Now, so they still speak Welsh there? Yes! You would think they'd be like some hybrid. No, they have like Welsh road names. Ooh. Like uh, a really famous Welsh name is David. You have did, like you, David did you film Street. down there? I never went. I uh. did the Wales part. Fabulous. Was that was that easy for you, that, that, that acting? I needed it, I think. I needed to escape. You know, like, you must feel this. You can't really go on holiday from yourself. You know, if I go on holiday, guess what? I go too. <laughs> so I'm thinking, how the hell am I going to switch off from this person that I am? I can go on holiday for myself. Can like, you? I went to Japan and nobody knows Perez Hilton in Japan. No, no, I the mean... The tourists do. I mean, physically. Oh. That isn't a good way of looking at it, Yeah, yes. how do you take a holiday from Perez? You are him. Right? Why would I want to? What happens if I want to stop? I take a break. I don't like breaks. Yeah, because I like songwrite all the time. I'm thinking, blah, blah, blah. So the only way to have a holiday for myself was to do a movie. What was the last proper holiday you took? I took my boyfriend uh, to a little resort in Italy that I love called Ravello. Ooh, Ravello. How long were you there for? Four days, Naples. And they got Ooh. the best pizza on the planet. Mm. It's amazing. Are you a foodie? I am a foodie, yeah. I love food. Pizza. Mm. Anything tomato y. Mm. I'm sure it's like Italian in the past. Gaspacho. Mm. <laughs> I'm hungry now. I am too. Well, on that note, thank you. Let's go well, grab something you. to eat. All Bye. Right. Bye. <laughs>